tutorial, I'll be showing you how to remove an unwanted person or object quickly from an image. I'll be showing you how to do it in the Photoshop CS5 first, so if you have an earlier version of Photoshop, click the annotation here. Cutting someone or an object out of an image is very easy with something new in Photoshop CS5 called Content Aware. Now, I've just found this image of Flickr and we'll be cutting out the lady to the left here. So let's just zoom in first. And just make sure we can see all of her. And we'll just grab our lasso tool here. Just select around her relatively quickly, doesn't have to be close. You can be more accurate if you like, but it won't make much of a difference. And we'll just take out that guy in the background as well. There you go, now that she's selected, we just right click, go to fill and I've already got it selected as content aware uh, it might have foreground or background color already selected but we want to click on content aware and the mode is normal opacity 100% and just press OK and there you go she's gone and it CS5 is already filled in the background for you uh, it just works out what's close by and sort of does use the clone stamp tool itself now let's just deselect this and as you notice, it's a bit blurry at parts. You can see there's a bit of an edge there and around there. So it's not absolutely perfect. So we'll just grab the clone stamp tool here. And we'll just get to work and refine what Photoshop CS5 has already done for us. So remember to alt click uh, your base. And then we just drag along certain edges. So. Uh, with CS5 it also gives you a preview as well so let's move it there and just make sure you use a new base here and there it just makes it a bit easier and you're going a, a closer clone stamp uh, there's a big edge there so let's just You can always change the brush size, etc. at the top there. That's a bit modeled there. Let's just take that and get rid of that. There you go. And so it's gone to the extent where you never knew she was even there. Uh, there's a bit more we can just do at the bottom here. And there you go. So let's just zoom out now. And she's pretty much gone. Uh, you wouldn't know unless you had a very trained eye to see if she was there. Uh, you can always spend a lot longer on that, but it's a very simple technique and it can be done in a short few minutes. Uh, but let's just see what it looked like beforehand. And that's it afterwards. Now, if you don't have Adobe Photoshop CS5 and you have an earlier version, you won't have the option of content aware. But there is still an easy way to cut somebody out. So let's just concentrate on the same girl again. Zoom in a bit, grab that lasso tool, and then just, just quickly go around her. Once again, it doesn't have to be perfect, and we get that guy out as well. There you go. Now, with the lasso tool still selected, you'll notice your mouse. Uh, pointer turns into a different section which allows you to move the selection so we we'll just drag it over to the side around here then just go to edit 
copy then we'll drag the selection back over on top of her and then we'll just go to edit paste now you can see she sort of disappeared there um, if the uh, some of the features don't line up properly just click on the uh, move tool here and then just with the uh, keypad or the direction buttons on your keyboard just adjust it to a good position make sure that sh the person you're trying to remove or object is completely covered see we got that there but it's quite obvious from the lines there that somebody's being cut out and the fact that it doesn't quite match the background in a way so we'll just right click the layers and flatten the image and then we'll get out that clone tool and remember choose a sample on the side of your base by alt clicking and then just run along the lines and see that lines already smoothed out there and we'll just choose something on this side Again, yeah, just try out whichever bits you can. Try out any blurriness or any obvious distortion sorts. Now that's looking roughly right. There's a tiny bit more there. And there you go, let's just zoom out now. Uh, we need a couple bit more, a few touches there. And there you go. So, again, this only takes a few minutes and it can be done a lot more accurately than that. But as you can see, she has disappeared. So, I'll just show you a bit before and after. That's before, that's after. So I hope you enjoyed listening to today's tutorial. Thanks for watching and make sure you hit that subscribe button so you know when the next new tutorial is up.